with another video back <laughs> take a sip of my wine So, a few things I want to talk about here. Nothing crazy. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about, last night, I uh, ended up watching a movie that I actually already own. Uh, me and my girlfriend sat down uh, and we watched, we streamed it actually, uh, Cape Fear. So this is obviously uh, a movie that came out in the early 90s. Martin Scorsese directed, if I'm not mistaken. What am I saying? Yeah, it's Martin Scorsese. <laughs> Starring... Juliette Lewis, uh, we've got Nick Nolte, Jessica Lange, Robert De Niro's in it as well. I mean, I'm kind of torn on this movie. Uh, it has obviously really good cinematography, uh, typical of a Scorsese film. Uh, the acting's pretty good for the most part. The ending is a bit much without giving away any spoilers, so... <laughs> yeah, it's a good movie. It's definitely worth a watch. Hell, it's probably even worth a buy, but I, I wouldn't put it up there as one of Scorsese's best. I think there's better Scorsese films. I've never seen the original Cape Fear, which came out way back when, probably in the 50s, maybe the 60s. Uh, Jessica Lange's pretty pretty dang hot in this movie as well. So it's funny when you watch a movie from like the 80s or 90s. I know there's a couple scenes. There's a scene in this movie where. Uh, Jessica Lang and Nick Nolte, uh, they're having a conversation in bed and they're, and they're smoking cigarettes. It's like nowadays, you, you would even if you were a smoker, you'd be hard pressed to find someone uh, who smokes inside, let alone in their bed. Usually people go outside. They, a lot of people have newer homes these days, condos, and they don't want to have smoke stained ceilings and smoke. You know, the smell, it lingers, it gets on everything your bed sheets. Uh, your clothing and all the rest of it. So, yeah, Cape Fear. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It is go a good movie. It is worth a watch. The next thing I want to talk about here, uh, it's a bit of a VR to the Game Shack. He posted a video, I think it was yesterday, where he talked about uh, five games that he owns that he's never played. Now, I, I can't do five. I just I don't have time to do that. I pulled out one. And uh, that would be Dead Space 2. So uh, from what I've read, from what I've heard, this is probably the best one in the series. Uh, and I've owned this for a couple of years, and I've never not once ever played it. Uh, I heard it has an incredible introduction as well. It's even, uh, at least on the Xbox 360, it's a dual disc, double disc. And the reason why I haven't played Dead Space 2 is, uh, is quite simple. is because I never actually beat the original Dead Space, uh, I got pretty far into it, and then I kind of got stuck, and I walked away. So I, I'm kind of I'm one of those people. I don't want to get into the second one until I've beaten the first. So I might go back to this one if I if I really can't beat it. If I if I just can't get through it, maybe I will put it back, and then I'll just start Dead Space Two. But that's the reason. Uh, yeah, Dead Space Two. I've owned it for maybe I don't know two or three years, maybe four years, and I haven't played it yet. So. If any of you guys want to take a stab at that VR, uh, feel free to do so. Other than that, uh, not a lot, not a whole lot else really going on. Um, I did sort of want to talk about live streamers, though, in general. Uh, you know, it's just my personal opinion, but I find a lot of the live streamers out there either. I feel that they could have the potential to, to do videos like this, spoken word, you know, where they talk in front of the camera, but maybe they just don't have the confidence. But there's a lot of uh, streamers out there that are just sort of lazy, and uh, or maybe they're not good at articulating a sentence, and they just want to sit in front of the, uh, the capture card or the live stream and just play games. I think live stream, personally, it's, it's, it's lazy. Uh, it's not really interesting to watch. It's one thing if you're doing kind of like what uh, Afro Gamer Dude does, and I've done it before, where you live stream, but you're, you're talking to the camera. But when you're playing games and you have a comment thread 
that's going on in real time. And a lot of times these uh, streamers, they just ignore the comments and then they pause the game every five to 10 minutes to catch up. It's just, uh, <laughs> it doesn't do it for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. I, I like it. I don't mind it if it's someone who's talking directly to the camera, who's very much engaged with the comments, uh, the live comments. But when you're live streaming and you're just sitting there and you're playing games, and I know that's probably going to offend some people that are subscribed to this channel, but that's just the way I feel about it. Um, I think me personally, if I was playing games live, I would probably have the same issue. I wouldn't be able to engage with the comments because it's hard to multitask when you're trying to play the game at the same time. So that's why you don't see me live stream. Well, I don't have a PS4 or PS5, so I can't really live stream anyways. But, you know, whenever I do live stream, which is very rare, uh, it's more so just to talk to you guys. It's, uh, I don't know, a bit more personable, if that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so anyways, guys, that's it. Not much else really going on. I hope you guys have a good weekend. For now, I'm going to finish this glass of wine. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.